The fourth and the last supermoon of this year will rise in the evening of September 29th, 2023. It's also going to be the last full supermoon of this year. This full moon of 29th September is also called the harvest moon. A full moon occurs when the moon is exactly on the opposite side of the earth from the sun. The time between full moons is about 29.5 days, though the time for the moon to complete one orbit is a bit shorter, 27.3 days. The former is called the synodic period and the latter is called the sidereal period. So-called supermoons occur because the orbit of the moon around the earth is not a perfect circle but is instead a flattened circle or an ellipse. This means that during its 27.3 day orbit, there are points at which the moon is closer to the earth and points at which it is further away. The point at which the moon is closest to earth is called perigee while the point at which the moon is farthest from earth is called apogee. Hence the full moon that takes place on perigee is called supermoon while the full moon that takes place on apogee is called micromoon. Supermoons happen because the lunar orbit is not a perfect circle. It is an ellipse, the one that is only very slightly so. At its closest point, called perigee, the moon is 363,300 kilometers, and at its farthest it is 405,000 kilometers. The difference isn't all that much, a typical supermoon will appear about 10 to 12 percent larger than an ordinary full moon, but that difference is almost impossible to see unless one is very observant and tracking full moons for many months. If an astrophotographer is imaging moon then he or she can tell the difference the through the comparison of their images of the supermoon and regular moon like this. You don't need any special gears for watching this super moon but binoculars and telescopes can add more charm to your observation. So that's it for the last super moon of this year. Please like and share this video and subscribe to the channel for more such updates like this on astronomy, astrophotography and astronomical events.